Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Might and Magic 10 Legacy Impossible Solo. So last time we defeated Mon Bard, who was sitting over here in this chair. It was quite an easy fight, but the fights beforehand really drained our resources, including our gold and our potions and pretty much everything. So I'm starting to worry that we're kind of screwed here. Yeah, it's not good. But in any case, let's take a look at what we have. We have an Elixir of Vitality. Let's drink that. There's an unidentified ring. We can identify it. Let's do that. Identify all. Arcane Ring of the Stabber. Five resistance against magic schools. That's good, but the dagger skill is useless for us. Let's see. It's not any better than any of our other rings. Slightly better than the Knockout Ring. Well, it's much better than the Knockout Ring, but... Yeah, it's not... Doesn't protect us from knockout though, that's the main problem. Okay, so I think there actually should be loot here. We just didn't Even find it last time. Do not see much about the I'm gonna turn off MG's barks because he just repeats the same thing over and over again. Every time we go through the woods, he's like, oh, this is how you chop down trees or something ridiculous. It's so dumb. Okay, this is some nice loot, that's good. Okay, let's identify these as well. This looks powerful. Air Warding Acolyte's Diadem of the Prime Magic Scholar. Plus three levels. Oh, this is very useful against, uh, for using Mana Surge. Very nice. That'll increase the effectiveness by 15%. Light Resistance, Armor of Vitality. Huh. That could be better than what we have, actually. What we have is a Retaliation Helm, which I purchased out of a frivolous desire. Huh. Well, well, we can keep this one around too, see if it, we have some use out of it. Alright, we're still around 5,000 gold. We can go to level 3 of the Lost City, probably, or the next level here. We should be here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, let's, um, let's refresh our torch. I guess we could re-rest as well. I might as well. Where the hell am I going? Oh. There's a ghoul in there. I saw him. Alright, take two of the our ghouly little friends here. Let's just use Firebolt on this dude. I think we can try and take him down quickly, because this is the main problem. The ghoul's elite, he does a lot of damage to us. Okay, let's switch orbs so he takes retaliatory damage. Also, we need some darkness warding items. I think the skeletons do darkness damage. Okay, let's switch to the titan leggings to level them up. So, okay, the skeletons should be no problem. Okay, wow, that was a tougher fight than I thought for three creatures, because one of them was elite. Let's rest. Let's see, what's this? Oh, this riddle. History is told, forgotten, and can be told again. What is put on parchment never remains unchanged. Always truth can be washed away and rewritten, but the specter of past words seldom completely fades. Yeah, so when I first played this game, this one really confused me. Like, I could not get it. I spent like three hours trying to figure it out. Um, and eventually I caved and I looked it up. It was a word that I didn't even know existed. So, <laughs> yeah, this was the this was the riddle, the only riddle in the game that I could not solve. Uh, so it's a bit frustrating, but I remember the answer. Pollen obsessed? Oh yeah, something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what it is. Unidentified pirate armor. Interesting. Let's identify it. This looks powerful. Darkness, warding, pirate armor of agility. Oh, perfect. Perfect. This is really good. We needed uh, evade and darkness resistance. Uh, I mean, I'm convinced the game knows exactly what we need and tries to give it to us. Very nice. 
This increases our evade too, so with the sandals, whew, it's 44. And our darkness warning is a little bit better. This is very nice. Okay, well, let's keep going. Is there anything else here? No, there isn't. And it's dark again. Okay, I think this is to Castle Port Marin. I think we have a quest to go back there. Report to John Morgan. Okay, let's report to John Morgan. He should be here at the entrance. I'm happy to see you again, my friends. What news do you bring? Okay, the brigands have yes! lost their unity. More glory! I'm confident we can deal with them. Lombard was not right in the head. You got that right. Do you want us to investigate? There's we pressing matters. Okay, we need to go to the Carthal sewers. Again, my friends. What news do you this will be easy. Okay, let's go to the Carthal sewers. Oh, we leveled up. Very nice. So, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, we need to think about how we can deal with those casters. That's really, that's really the problem that we get. So, we can put three levels into Arcane Discipline, but that will only improve our resist by three. So it's not that good. Okay guys, after thinking about it for quite a long time, here's what I'm going to do. One point in Air Magic, two points in Primordial. The reasoning is we could use a spell Gust of Wind, maybe, to blow away casters so that we don't have to fa face two at once. That's my hope at least. Uh, in Primordial we need to improve the effectiveness of Mana Surge. As well, if we get Master in Primordial, there is a spell Spirit Beacon that will really help us when collecting buffs ahead of fights. So maybe we can reach that in a couple levels. Okay, I think that's it. For our attribute points, that's a good question. So our health is still, could use some improvement. We have a health potion that restores 300, but we can't really use it that much. Uh, but our vitality is huge. Look at this, 43 vitality. Uh, huh. I think our magic is a bit low. I really want to do more damage here. So let's let's increase our magic by three. And one point of vitality. That sounds good to me. A balanced approach. Okay, so we do up to 90 damage here with both the fire bolt and the mana surge, which costs the same amount actually. Okay, so what to do next? That's a good question. I think I'm going to try and challenge the uh, the guys we challenged in the last part, the dark wizards who made us feeble-minded. We just need to find an item that makes us immune to feeble-minded. So I'm going to check the shops and uh, rebuff and meet you near that area. Hey guys, so I'm back in Sea Haven, and uh, actually I went back to the Lost City and used the scroll of Whispering Shadows, and I found two secrets. Uh, so we got this unidentified acolytes diadem, unidentified orb. The orb looks promising, so I want to identify both and see what happens. Cross your fingers. Darkness warding acolyte orb of the dark magic scholar. Seven resistance against dark. That's going to be very helpful. Three levels of dark magic doesn't help us though. Air Warding Acolyte Diadem of the Dark Magic Scholar also doesn't help us. Okay, this one is absolutely useless. Well, except for resistance against air. We can keep it for resistance against air if we need that. This one will be very useful because it, it's resist against dark. So, hmm. If we put everything on, I still think we only have like 50 resist against dark. So we're not strong enough to challenge the dark mages that just kill us in like two turns. But, um... I think what we need to finally clear that area is an item that gives us 100% protection against feeble-minded. So let's keep looking for that item. So I think the next step for our journey will be for MG to go to the crag. So that'll be a walk through this area right here. There's some powerful enemies here, but not as any anywhere near as powerful as the dark wizards. So we should be able to should be able to get there. So I'm going to go ahead and 
walk to the edge of the woods that we got to already, and I'll see you there. Okay guys, I'm back here near the forest, uh, near this guy that gave us this awesome shield that we have. So I picked up an interesting item in the town, the Imperial Spear of Idiocy. <laughs> I figured it's very fitting for this uh, insane let's play. Yeah, so it has a 7% chance to inflict the memory gap condition. So I think it's going to be useful against casters. We'll have a 7% chance to turn them into idiots. <laughs> we'll see how it works out for us. It cost me a thousand gold, so hopefully I don't regret that. That's worth like five of the big potions. All right, let's challenge this group over here. They don't look too, they don't look so tough to me, so. Let's switch to the sandals. Get going. Oh, we're getting kind of pretty close, and they're not. They're not attacking. Maybe we can use the spear of idiocy on this. Uh, I don't know. Wow, there's an earth elemental too. Let's back up until we have a natural obstacle on the side. So then this guy will have to go around. Although it's even better to back up into a corner. Where only we can only attack one of them at a time. Switching. Very nice. Drop leather arm brace, just completely useless, but that's fine. Switch back to the good orb and uh, let's keep going. Oh yeah, we should rest. Oh, it's dark. We can use a torch, but it doesn't really help that much. Okay, we can go right into the jungle or left into... I think that'll lead to the crag. The jungle has guys we can farm for XP and, and gold and stuff like that, but I think we should try and complete the quest so we can uh, level up our Titan Leggings. I want to see the next level of that. And we should get to the crag because I think there's a spell there we can learn. Uh, Fire Blast, which should help us. So yeah, let's let's do that. Whoa, I'm lagging a bit here. I don't know why. Is this the way? Is this the way? No, these are marshes. Some kind of weird dudes over here. Uh, let me check. I'm lost. Okay, well, let's go this way. I'm not sure if this is the right way or not. Okay, there's a group of War Panther, Retaliation. Okay, that doesn't affect us. That doesn't affect us either. All right, let's see what they can do. I guess let's do the sandals and then just block, see how much damage they do and stuff. Okay, not at all, basically. Fireball. Are they... do they resist fire? Yeah, they resist fire. Well, that's unfortunate for us. But, uh... Well, they can take retaliation damage. I guess we could just keep shielding forever. <laughs> what a strategy. MG just sits there and shields forever while everyone waits to die. I guess it can... it works pretty well. The goblin's gonna die pretty soon. We have 44 evade. Eventually they'll hit us, right? How often will they hit us? I think shield increases our block value by 25% and evade value by 50%. So maybe it's like it's impossible for them to even hit us. There we go. They hit us. Okay, the goblin died. Very nice. What's this? Another panther? Okay. All right, I'm going to speed this part up. This is a new way of fighting. Uh <laughs> it's not very effective, it seems, <laughs> but it's fun. Alright, now we have a Mauler. Sweeping attack. Doesn't affect us at all. Alright guys, this is pretty fucked up. 
This has been like 20 minutes. So this is a pretty effective method, I think, of killing them, because they barely do any damage to us. But we also do barely any damage to them. But in the end, it's 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 more effective this way, because this way we only use a healing potion every so often. But otherwise we just waste mana potions on them. Who will win first? It will be me, Mahler. Ooh. Well, that was a pretty crazy fight. <laughs> that took like 30 minutes in real time or something like that. Let's save. Let's rest. Oh. Is this a uh, hour of power? Let's mark this. This is very useful. Hour of power. This will help us with uh, nearby encounters. Yeah, we fought so hard it was... It's already morning now. Okay, I guess it was the other way after all. We should probably go... Here we should go down here. Yes. This is probably the way to the crag. Do God swear firewood is harvested? I'm going to turn off your voice, MG. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Normally all your party members are saying stuff, but because I only have MG, it's only him saying stuff. All right, I hope the spider doesn't attack us here. It did not. Okay, that looks like a pretty powerful enemy. I want to be a little bit careful here. Stay away from the powerful enemies as much as possible. What's this? Who's this? Luna, Dark Magic Grandmaster. No, we don't need that. But we could use some Earth Ward, I guess. I don't know if there's any Earth enemies here. Okay, there is a... Looks like a Mauler up ahead. Okay, well... We'll have a similar battle to what we had before. Which is to say, oh no, there's a caster. Oh, this guy's tough because uh, he can regenerate. He's probably resistant to fire too. And he casts, oh, he casts air magic on us. We don't have air ward. We should have bought air ward before the battle. I might go back and do that if we die. All right, let's switch to the sandals. We need to kill him as soon as possible. Probably with mana surge. Yeah, he does air damage to us. All right, fireball. Let's switch to the orb of retaliatory damage. He's still mana surged. Okay. Good so far, but he might regen. Okay, still pretty good. Okay, we really need to keep attacking him, even if our health is low. Ooh, but he does a lot of damage. This is not good, not good. How much regeneration is 30? Okay, yeah, let's heal here. Okay, hopefully he doesn't do regen. He did regen. Oh, but he died from casting regen. Oh, that was a close call. Hopefully there's not another one. Uh, that battle would have been tough if he had done regen any time during that. So we got really lucky. He didn't do regen until the very end. This guy's being regen, so there's there's not much we can do here. Alright, this is going to be another one of those infinitely long battles, so I'm going to spare you the details here, I'll probably speed this up or just cut it out entirely. So I'm just going to heal up to full mana and just do regen and block over and over. Okay guys, I took out the Maulers, but now there's this Jaguar Warrior here. Not sure what to do about him, but I guess I'm going to use a mana potion on him. Seems kind of tough. Let's try with the sandals as well. How is he against fire? He resists about 20%. No, 30% of fire. 
And he gets enraged too. That's not good. Maybe we should block until he's enraged and then use fire. That seems like a good plan. But he does quite a bit of damage to us. So this one is going to be a bit tough. Strike rate is doubled. Hmm, what can we do against him? Not much. Just, you know, defend, really. Alright, let's keep trying to defend then. Oh, he casts Overwhelming Assault, which cannot be blocked periodically. Alright, I guess we have to go all out here then. There's really no other way for us to survive. Although I guess we could just use healing potions and wait for him to die. It doesn't seem very very practical for me. Alright, let's just start blasting him then. Okay, let's just block here until we can use a restoration potion, I think. Okay, let's use a restoration. Okay, I kind of want to use the, the damage orb on him, because I think that, that way we can do more damage in proportion to our effort. Yeah, we can probably kill him this way. We really need a better orb here. Do we have an orb that can do fire damage or something? 10 to 12 damage? No, we got nothing. Nice, we finished him with the orb. 35 XP. Oh, we're very close to level up on the Titan Leggings. I think if we can get to the, the crag, we can level up the Titan Leggings for sure. Alright. That was a tough fight. It took like... 200 turns in real time. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, there's some kind of group of enemies here. Looks like a caster and some goblins. Hmm. Well, this is the way to the crag. I'm pretty sure I'm almost there. Yeah, I'm practically there. So this is probably going to be the last group of enemies we can challenge here. See what we can do. Okay, let's just back up. Hopefully we haven't activated the caster. Oh, maybe we actually didn't. Oh, jeez. But there's jaguar guys behind us. My god. Can we, can we escape into the city? That would be nice. I'm not sure if that's allowed. I think it's not allowed. Okay, well, we can figure something out with the Jaguar. Probably we'll use up all our mana, all our health potions. We don't have that many left. No, yeah. It's not a good time. I can't enter the crag. Okay, guys. So I went back to Sea Haven, buffed up. Uh, got a bunch of potions. I also bought this interesting helmet, Imperial Helm of Protection, which actually gives a total of 9 armor. That puts us at 83 armor value, which is pretty ridiculous. We're getting pretty close to 100. If we can level up our Titan Leggings, we'll be that much closer. They've almost leveled up, so they should level up after this fight. Hopefully we have enough potions to win this fight. But the main problem is the caster. Alright, let's rest. Apparently MG is weak. Caster's right over there. And we should try and kill the caster first. Otherwise, we have a lot of problems because the caster can regenerate everybody else. So, what to do? So, we can try Air Ward. It only gives us 9 air resistance, but it's better than nothing. We should advance here. Alright, Dreamwalker. Mana Surge. Alright, he just has to not regenerate. Okay, he regenerated. I think. Restores 98 health. And I do 98 damage. Yeah, it's not worth it to just cast regen. To just do any damage to him at all. He'll just regenerate fully. So. What to do while they're regenerating? That's a good question. I guess I could recast Air Ward. Um, 
I could also try and use the spear to make him stupid. Right, the spear of idiocy. Kinda works, not really. Spear is working on him. Okay, let's uh let's recast Air Ward here, I guess. And then let's heal. I think he's probably gonna use regeneration again soon. Mana surge. Mana surge. Yeah, he just uses regeneration. Like anytime there's any single inkling of a problem. We need to make him like the spear does a pretty good amount of damage to him. But unfortunately, it's not enough. Okay. Okay, wow. Well, he's just, you know, all out on the regen, huh? I guess we just need to cast Mana Surge every turn on him, even if he's regenerating. That really is the only thing that makes sense to me here. Alright, we need Air Ward though. Which makes it even tougher. And we regenerate ourselves. Okay, let's Mana Surge. Mana Surge. Mana Surge. Keep Mana Surging him. Doesn't matter that he... Cast regen. Mana surge again. Okay, he's still mana surged. So we'll take the opportunity to use the health, medium health potion. Or mana potion, sorry. Mana surge again. We just regen again. This is ridiculous. There's no point for me using mana surge over and over here. Might as well recast air ward. Regen myself. Heal. Okay, now I use Mana Surge on him over and over. What the hell? He just regens immediately. There's no point to even engaging him. Like, I can't win. There's no way to do damage fast enough. Maybe with the spear? We do do decent damage with the spear, but it's not enough to bypass the regeneration. We don't have Skull Crack, so there's not much we can do. Let's try the Elixir. Mana Surge. And the surge. Okay, let's just hope he turns into an idiot with the spear. <laughs> Not much of a hope though. Well, uh, regen. Use regen. Okay, we'll just gotta keep mana surging. Mana surge doesn't do as much damage as, as the regeneration. Oh, I have to heal here. Jesus Christ. Alright, this is pointless. I'm just gonna load. Okay guys, this is take 5 of this impossible fight. So, yeah, we can't win this. We might be stuck. I think because the caster over there regenerates faster than we can possibly deal damage to him. There's pretty much no hope. There's one more thing I could try, which is to just run away. The enemies will chase you, even if you run all the way across the world, but there is an area where the AI will get confused and they will stop chasing you. So I'm going to try and run all the way back to this area around Sea Haven to try to get the enemies separated so I can get the caster by himself and hopefully kill him by himself. That's my only hope. But even by himself, I'm not sure I'll be able to do that. Alright dude, it's you and me. No more freaking goblins standing in the way. Alright, mana surge versus regeneration. First try with the dreamwalker by himself. Let's go. What the fuck? What was that dude? <laughs> he just attacked me and then did nothing. I don't think he's gonna regenerate when he's at this low health. So what should we do? We should fireball him. That does decent damage, but the spear also does pretty good damage and it has the chance of idiocy. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, where's my combat? There we go. Immediately cast regeneration. That's dumb. 
Okay, let's. Well, he's not going to regenerate when he's at full health, so let's cast Air Ward. Let's take our time and heal here. Try again. Mana Surge. Very nice. Mana Surge. Very nice. Mana Surge. Okay, he regened. But it's important to keep Mana Surging here. Mana Surge. Mana Surge. Mana Surge. Okay, he's still Mana Surge, so we should take the opportunity and use an Elixir. Damn it, he regened again. Mana Surge. Mana Surge. Mana Surge. Okay, Mana Surge again. And he regened again. Wow. He just regens every three turns. Okay, he's still Mana Surge, so we should take the opportunity to use another Elixir, I guess. We barely got any health out of him at all. There we go. Now we got something. He regened. Mana Surge. Mana Surge. Okay, we're dead. Alright guys, I'm back. This is going to be try number 11 for the Impossible Dreamwalker. This is about as hard as the Spider Queen, to be honest. I went back to town and I bought four scrolls of Purge. They only sell one scroll at a time and only every three days. So MG had to essentially wait around the shop for like two weeks to get four scrolls of Purge. <laughs> but hopefully... This means that every time you cast regeneration, we can just purge it and continue on mana surging. Let's see if it works. Hopefully it'll work. I'm going to start with crushing weight, though. I'm definitely going to use one at the very beginning, because I think that'll, that'll help wear him down. If this doesn't work, I do have one other approach that could work, but it would involve us leveling up twice first, which I'm not sure is possible. We'd have to find some other quest to do. But I guess we could, probably could find something. Anyway, let's cast Air Ward. Resisted. Nice. Okay, let's approach him. Okay, everything is ready, right? Uh, maybe not. Maybe we should switch to this orb. And we should switch to the sandals. Jesus Christ, we didn't even have the sandals. Okay. Um, Alright, what's the plan? Mana Surge. Mana Surge until he regenerates, then Dispel to regenerate. Okay, he didn't do anything. So, Fireball. Nice. Nice, pretty good so far. Okay, he casts Regenerate though. So we gotta use Purge. Purge. Very nice. Alright, he's not gonna regenerate for a while. Very nice. Okay. Fireball. He's probably going to cast Regenerate. We should use the opportunity to heal here. Let's use an Elixir. It's a tough fight. Alright, Purge. Mana Surge. Mana Surge. Damn it, he regenerated again? Are you kidding me? Purge. Mana Surge. Mana Surge. Alright, we can kill him. We can kill him, but we've got low health. Let's heal. I think the spear would be better here now. Nah, fireball. Yeah, wow, he's... Oh, I see. He doesn't want to cast a spell because he knows he'll die. Your time's up, buddy. You're gone. Oh, that's right. Ha! How do you like that, Dreamwalker? It only took three purges. <laughs> Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Are we gonna need three purges for every Dreamwalker? We need to figure out a better way to kill these guys. But if not, yeah, I guess I'll start collecting purge scrolls. Anyway, it's pointless trying to attack this goblin. Titan leggings level increase, let's take a look. Nice. 22 armor, 10 might, 100% protection against paralysis. Well, paralysis part is helpful. We're at 88. Really nice. Okay, finally, let's enter the crag. Damn, that was, uh, I think that's the second hardest battle we've had in this, in this playthrough. 
the first being the Spider Queen, which took 100 tries. So this one took about 15 tries. Um, it's about the same as Gralcor. But, yeah, the Pirate Truce. All right, let's go. Let's go talk to Crag Hack and complete the quest. And then I'll probably make a cut. Crag Hack is the leader of the pirates here. Okay. Plus one resistance to fire. Nice. All right, let's talk to this dude. Quest the curse. The pirate king is ill. We need to find some kind of dark wizard. Okay, sounds good. Who are you? You joking, right? I'm Crag Hack. What kind of stupid name is Crag Hack? <laughs> uh, okay, quest pirate truce. A letter from John. Yes, more glory. Official business it is then. Alright, there's a truce. Alright, very nice. Hope we leveled up. No, we didn't. But we're pretty close. How about our shield? Shield is reasonably close. Alright. I'll probably make a cut here. We finally made it to the crag. And wow, that was a really tough fight against the Dreamwalker. We're still, we're still taking damage from the Dreamwalker fight. <laughs> uh, yeah, the game is a bit backlogged. So, yeah, next time we're going to have to think really hard about how we can fight casters that can regenerate themselves. That's like, that's a nightmare for this build. We're going to need to stock up on purse scrolls, I guess. Alright, but that's it for this part, in any case. So, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.